seriously used to be able to do a duck. Like, I'm not even joking right now. I used to be way better at that once upon a time. We are at Lehigh Hansen in Vancouver at the office. We're waiting to meet Sophie. She's the environmental manager here. She is a very busy lady, a lot of conference calls, a lot of meetings, a lot of on-site visits, and she's actually stuck in a meeting right now that's called a project update meeting. Personally, I am very impressed at all the checks and balances that a company like Lehigh goes through when working on some of their larger projects, but the downside is that we're stuck doing other important things. Anyways, if you guys remember how to do a duck, just tweet us. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Maggie. Very nice to meet you. You too. I am very excited to see what a environmental manager environmental manager does at Lehigh. Oh, well, that sounds good. I was just about to head out to uh, one of our project meetings. Perfect. I'm tagging along. Sounds good. My name is Sophie Mullen, and I'm the Area Environmental Manager for Lehigh Hansen, and I'm responsible for our operations in British Columbia and Washington State. I provide support to our operations in all different business lines that we have with the aggregate operations, the ready mix plants, as well as our cement terminals. I'm looking to help them with their environmental impacts, looking to make sure that um, we manage our stormwater and we manage our air emissions, as well as any potential complaints for noise and dust and that kind of thing. What I enjoy about it is that there's having that constant dialogue, whether it's with you know affected First Nations or the, the community within which that you operate, as well as just your employees and making sure that they're aware of their environmental responsibilities because everybody has a role to play. It's important that we that we work together to continue to operate within these communities and really Lehigh you know, focuses on making sure that we have a social license basically to operate that allows us to continue our operation within the community and ensuring that we have the ability to respond to their concerns and minimize any impact that they may have. It really allows us to sort of continue to make sure that the, the, the company that we work for is providing you know, the necessary consultation and, and having that human aspect to, to the way that we do business. We mine sand and gravel at our seashell mine. We transport it to our operations and as well as to the lower mainland by tug and barge. It's um, 2 a.m. in the morning, or it will be in a couple minutes anyway. And uh, we're right above Granville Island, waiting for the Lehigh barge to come in from Seashelt. When I was working earlier today with, um, with Sophie, she mentioned that one of the most beautiful things when the barge comes in, I'm pretty sure she meant for us to meet her here. You're, you're shaking your head. Dave's shaking his head no. Okay, Dave doesn't think that's what she meant, but I think that's what she meant. So we're here, and she'll, she'll show up for sure, because it's beautiful. Even though it's late, it's still very nice. And the barge should be coming in any minute, so. I think she... Dave was right. Sophie didn't mean for us to meet her at 2 a.m., but I'm sure glad I went because I learned something fantastic. Lehigh not only minimizes their carbon footprint by not using trucks to transport the aggregate, but also goes out of their way mobilizing staff late at night to keep community disturbances to a minimum. I probably spend close to 70% of my time working on managing major projects or working with permits and regulators, a lot of meetings and just to make sure that we are continuing our operations and, and able to permit our new facility so that there's always an aggregate resource. I do think that, you know, having that, that corporate social responsibility is, is key. It ensures that you can have a sustainable operation and it ensures that you can, you know, continue to be in business for a longer time. During university, where Sophie was getting her biology degree, she worked one summer part-time at a coal mine as an environmental planner she loved it. They ended up hiring her full-time and her environmental career took off. 